Have you ever wondered what would happen if someone tried to shoot down a satellite in space? How would that affect the world and the future of humanity? Well, you might be surprised to learn that this is not just a hypothetical scenario, but a very real and serious threat that we are facing right now. In fact, according to the US, Russia is developing a new nuclear space weapon that could potentially destroy or disable any satellite in orbit. This weapon is a ground-based missile that can reach speeds of up to 10,000 km AH and altitudes of up to 1,500 km. But why is Russia developing such a weapon? And what are the implications and consequences of using it? In this video, we will explore the topic of space weapons and anti-satellite weapons and try to answer these questions and more. We will also compare different sources of information on this topic and address some of the issues and challenges that it raises for the general audience who have some basic knowledge of astronomy. So, if you are interested in learning more about this fascinating and important topic, stay tuned and keep watching. The first thing we need to understand is what exactly is this weapon and how does it work? Satellites are essential for many aspects of our modern life. They provide us with services such as communication, internet, navigation, weather forecasting, and entertainment. They also support the military and intelligence operations of many countries, such as surveillance, reconnaissance, missile defense, and nuclear command and control. If these satellites are damaged or destroyed, it could have serious consequences for the economy, society, and the security of the world. Imagine not being able to use your phone, your GPS, your bank card, or your TV. Imagine not knowing what the weather is like or where your enemies are or if they are launching a nuclear attack. That's the kind of scenario that Russia's weapon could create. But how likely is it that Russia will use this nuclear space weapon? Well, that's hard to say. Some experts believe that Russia is developing this weapon as a deterrent to prevent other countries from interfering with its interests or attacking its territory. Others think that Russia is pursuing this weapon as an offensive tool to gain an advantage over its rivals or to blackmail them into concessions. Either way, the fact that Russia is working on this weapon shows that it is not afraid to challenge the norms and the rules of the international order and that it is willing to risk a new arms race in space. But what exactly is an anti-satellite weapon and how does it work? An anti-satellite weapon, or ASAT, is a device that is designed to destroy or interfere with satellites in orbit. There are different types of ASATs, such as kinetic, non-kinetic, direct ascent, co-orbital, and cyber, SAA Direct Ascent IT, which means that it is launched from the ground and intercepts the target satellite in a single flight, is also a kinetic IT, which means that it uses physical force to damage or destroy the target satellite. This can create a lot of debris in space, which can pose a risk to other satellites and spacecraft. Is not the first ASAT that Russia has developed, as it has a long history of testing and deploying such weapons since the Cold War. The next thing we need to know is how far along is Russia in developing this nuclear space weapon, and how did the US find out about it? Russia's nuclear space weapon is still under development and not yet in orbit. However, Russia has recently made some advances that have raised the alarm of the US intelligence community and some lawmakers on Capitol Hill. The report cites a classified briefing that was given to the House Intelligence Committee in January 2024, in which the US officials revealed that Russia had successfully tested the weapons propulsion system in November 2023, and that it was planning to conduct another test in February 2024. Also claims that the US officials expressed concern that Russia could deploy the weapon as soon as 2025, and that it could pose a serious threat to the U.S. and its allies. How did the U.S. officials get this information? Well, that's a sensitive question. Does not disclose the source of the intelligence, but it suggests that it was very valuable and very risky. It says that the exposure of the intelligence was damaging because the sourcey was very hard to obtain and very hard to protect. 
It also says that the leak of intelligence could jeopardize the U.S. ability to monitor and counter weapons in the future. The name of the entity was not mentioned that leaked the intelligence, but it implies that it was someone within the U.S. government or the Congress who had access to the classified briefing and who shared it with the media. The report also says that the leak has sparked an investigation and a controversy, and that some lawmakers have called for accountability and punishment for the leaker. The last thing we need to know is how the U.S. is responding to this Russia's nuclear space weapon and what it is doing to prevent or counter it. The U.S. has expressed its condemnation and its concern about Russia's weapon, and it has called for dialogue and cooperation to avoid a space war. The report quotes President Biden, who said that Russia's weapon was reckless and irresponsible and that it violated the spirit and the letter of the Outer Space Treaty of 1967, which bans stationing weapons of mass destruction in space. He also said that the U.S. was ready to engage with Russia on arms control and confidence-building measures, and that he hoped that Russia would join the U.S. in pursuing a peaceful and cooperative future in space. National Security Council spokesman John Kirby, who said that Russia's weapon was destabilizing and dangerous, and that it threatened the security and the stability of the space domain. He also said that the U.S. was committed to maintaining and enhancing its space capabilities, and that it was working with its allies and partners to deter and defend against any hostile actions in space. He also said that the U.S. was supporting the development and the implementation of norms and rules of responsible behavior in space and that it was urging Russia to abide by them. House Intelligence Committee Chair Mike Turner, who said that Russia's weapon was provocative and alarming and that it demonstrated Russia's disregard for the international order and the rule of law. He also said that the U.S. needed to increase its investment and innovation in space technology and defense and that it needed to strengthen its intelligence and oversight on space threats. He also said that the U.S. needed to hold Russia accountable for its actions and that it needed to impose sanctions and other measures to deter and punish Russia for its aggression. Russian response. Moscow accused the U.S. of using the claims of a new Russian weapon as a ruse to pass additional Ukraine aid by hook or by crook. It also said that the U.S. is trying to distract from its own space activities. In conclusion, Russia's nuclear space weapon is a real and serious threat that could have devastating consequences for the world. It is a weapon that could destroy satellites, disrupt services, and endanger security. It is a weapon that shows Russia's ambition and defiance and that challenges the U.S. and its allies. It is a weapon that could spark a new arms race and a new conflict in space. It is a weapon that we need to be aware of and prepared for. We hope that this video has given you some insight and some information on this topic and that you have learned something new and interesting. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. And if you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to get notified. Thank you for watching and see you next time.